Hey guys, in this video we'll be guiding you through on how to set up the latest Mac OS beta. We're going to be setting it up on its own partition to keep all of your current settings safe, but we'll also show you on how to access your current drive from the new Mac OS so you can use all your apps and documents from there. All right, let's get to it. First up, we're going to create a small partition to install macOS High Sierra on. Now, High Sierra takes up around 10 gigabytes, so you don't need to allocate that much space for it. Partitioning takes around five minutes. Second, you'll need to download the beta. You can do this by heading on to either beta.apple.com or developer.apple.com. These websites will allow you to unlock the app in the App Store for download. Third, just launch the installer, but remember to select the new partition we just created to ensure you can still use your current version of Mac OS. Now, sit down, relax, wait around 20 minutes for your Mac to restart a good few times. Next, you just go through the standard setup procedure for Mac OS. Beta versions of Mac OS have analytics and diagnostic reporting enabled by default. You can always disable this from the privacy option in system preferences. Now we're going to enable access to your current version of macOS from High Sierra. To do this, you need to head on to Disk Utility and unlock your main partition. If you've encrypted your drive using File Vault, you'll be prompted to input in your encryption password for access. Once that's done, in my experience, I needed to restart my Mac to actually be able to access the drive. All your apps and documents are now available to you in the new Mac OS. Just head on to the applications folder in your main partition and launch. If you haven't restored from a backup, all your app specific settings will need to be reconfigured. However, if you restored from a time machine, all would be good in the world. To switch between High Sierra and Sierra, you can do this from either the startup disk option in system preferences, or when restarting your Mac, hold down the Alt key and wait for the boot disk selector. At this current point in time, I find that High Sierra exports Final Cut Pro videos 10% slower than Sierra. But of course, this is still a beta version and performance should improve before it goes gold. All right guys, thanks for watching. Any problems or questions, just leave a comment below.